Soaring above the dust of the rodeo arena, Casey Field made a name for himself as a rodeo legend. With a career marked by countless victories and jaw-dropping performances, Field proved himself to be one of the sport's most talented and fearless riders. But what made this cowboy tick? What drove him to climb back on that horse time and time again? Let's uncover the grit, determination, and heart that makes Casey Field a true rodeo legend. Casey Field was born in Payson, Utah on March 4, 1987. His father, Lewis Field, had a remarkable rodeo career, winning the World All-Around Rodeo Championship three consecutive times during the 1980s and two World Bareback Championships. Growing up, Casey and his brother, Shadrach, accompanied their father on the rodeo circuit, immersing themselves in the world of rodeo from a young age. At just 13 years old, Casey started honing his skills in riding bareback broncs, aimed to excel in this challenging sport. Despite his eagerness, his father, concerned for his safety due to his slight build, limited his practice and competitions until he turned 17. This restriction only fueled Casey's passion further, intensifying his determination to succeed. Casey enrolled at Utah Valley State, where his father served as the rodeo coach. In 2008, he secured the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association bareback title, showcasing his emerging talent and dedication to the sport. His breakthrough came in 2008, when he qualified for the prestigious National Finals Rodeo, NFR, marking the start of a successful streak with subsequent qualifications in 2009 and 2010. In 2009, Casey began a meaningful volunteer initiative with the Wrangler National Patriot Program, visiting American troops stationed in the Middle East during Memorial Day. Over the next five years, he visited forward operating bases in over 10 countries, finding inspiration and perspective from these visits, which helped him maintain focus on his riding ambitions. During the thrilling 2011 rodeo season, Casey Field soared to new heights, setting a record by earning a remarkable $319,986, a standout achievement for any Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association member. He made his mark at the National Finals Rodeo for the fourth time as a bareback rider, winning an astounding six rounds and clinching the PRCA bareback riding title, the world title, and the prestigious Ram Top Gun Award. The following year at the 2012 NFR, Fields' dominance continued as he secured the bareback riding average title and another world championship outshining his rival, Will Lowe. By the end of that season, his total earnings reached an impressive $276,850. Despite the victories, Field admitted the second championship was even tougher to achieve, requiring the right mindset and grit to stay on top in the high-stakes environment of Las Vegas. In a generous move in 2013, Field teamed up with fellow Utah and rodeo star Wesley Silcox to launch free rodeo camps for teenagers looking to hone their bronc and bull riding skills. Field closed the season as the world champion bareback rider with $239,465 in winnings, including another aggregate title at the NFR, making him the first cowboy in history to claim three consecutive aggregate titles and the first bareback rider since 1975 to win three consecutive world titles. Continuing his winning streak, Field triumphed again in 2014, securing his fourth consecutive world title in bareback riding, a feat matched only by Leo Camarillo. His dedication and skill propelled him to the forefront of the rodeo world, earning him a place among the sports legends. The 2015 season brought new challenges and excitement for Field. Despite solid performances throughout the NFR, he narrowly missed the top spot in the standings, finishing second behind Stephen Peebles. But this setback didn't deter him as he became one of the founding members of the Elite Rodeo Athletes, ERA, aiming to create a more lucrative and sustainable professional rodeo circuit. Field's motivation stemmed from the desire to compete in fewer events while earning more. To him, this was a promising prospect for extending his career and staying healthier. However, this move sparked controversy as the PRCA responded by barring its members, including Field, from participating in the ERA, leading to legal battles and uncertain futures for many elite riders. Ultimately, the ERA's ambitious venture folded after a single season, prompting Fields' return to the PRCA arena. 
On February 25, 2018, the American unfolded at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The crowd cheered as Casey Field, riding C5 Rodeo Company's Virgil, once again showcased his talent. He and Oren Larson tied with a strong score in the first round of the short go. In the next round, Field soared with the highest score, securing $100,000 for his bareback win and a portion of the $1 million side pot. This victory marked an unforgettable moment shared with other talented riders. Fast forward to December 2020 at another electrifying event in Arlington, Texas. Field faced tough competition. In round 10, a re-ride decision set the stage for an intense finale. With nerves high, Field delivered a remarkable 91-point ride on Junior Bonner, clinching both the round and his fifth world championship title in bareback riding. The saga continued at the 2021 NFR in Las Vegas, where Field cemented his legacy. Winning his sixth PRCA bareback riding world championship, he surpassed previous records. His exceptional performance also earned him second place in the bareback riding average and the prestigious Ram Top Gun Award. However, the rodeo scene took a turn in 2023. Despite his talent, Field found himself at 16th place in the world standards, narrowly missing a spot in the national finals rodeo. Reflecting on the season, he shared insights with No Spin Rodeo about his journey and evolving priorities. By late August 2023, Field realized his path to a 14th NFR was uncertain. Though determined, he acknowledged his sacrifices needed to secure another qualification. Ultimately, family and business commitments began to take precedence over rodeo. With retirement looming on the horizon, Field stayed true to his plans. He remained resolute amidst shifting priorities, affirming that his focus had always extended beyond the arena. No doubt, he redefined the sport with his unparalleled performances setting new standards and shattering records that will echo through generations. Throughout his illustrious career, he remained steadfastly authentic, embodying the essence of a true legend in rodeo history. Now, as he contemplates his next chapter, Fields' legacy promises to continue blazing trails of greatness. In the midst of his rodeo career, Fields' mind was always active, constantly jumping from one thought to another, whether it was pondering a referee's decision or planning for his next competition. Yet, amidst this thrill, he started noticing things he had previously overlooked. The passion in his daughter's play, the excitement she brought to his life, and the joy of being present with his family. Field reflects on his newfound perspective with deep gratitude, acknowledging that he now experiences more joy than ever before. The realization of his daughter's tenacity on the field brings an infectious enthusiasm that uplifts him, revealing a deeper layer of fulfillment that had eluded him during the height of his rodeo career. Moreover, the decision to retire was not made lightly. Field had been grappling with it for some time. Despite his continued success, the relentless demands of professional rodeo were taking their toll. Physically, he was still at the peak of his game, and mentally, his experience gave him an edge over younger competitors. However, thoughts of what lay beyond rodeo had been creeping into his mind, especially as a father of three craving more time with his family. The turning point came in March 2019 during the Rodeo Austin in Texas finals. Field sustained a severe brain injury, leaving him unconscious after being bucked off and kicked in the head by a horse. The injuries included a brain bleed, fractured skull, fractured nasal cavity, fractured jaw, and concussion. This heroin experience accelerated his contemplation of life beyond the arena focusing his priorities on family and recovery. Meanwhile, before the accident, Casey Field had discussions with friends about a CBD business idea, but he initially brushed it off due to misconceptions about CBD within the conservative culture he was part of. However, after his accident, everything changed. This particularly during a critical moment while he was struggling with severe symptoms like blindness and persistent vomiting. Casey's wife brought him a CBD product sample. Desperate for relief, he took it and fell into a deep sleep. When he woke up, miraculously, his vision was clear, the ringing in his ears had stopped, and the medical scans showed that the swelling in his brain was rapidly decreasing. Even doctors were baffled by this unexpected recovery. This experience transformed Casey's perspective on CBD. Convinced by its positive impact on his recovery, 
he founded PWR Pro, a company dedicated to CBD products. Alongside managing a CBD brand, he also oversees the shipping logistics company and together with his brother Shad, launched Warbonnet Hatworks, a cowboy hat brand based in Roosevelt, Utah. With a strong entrepreneurial spirit, Casey saw an opportunity to utilize the newly established inland port in Spanish Forks, Utah. He partnered with experienced professionals to establish a fulfillment company specializing in shipping hemp-based products. Casey is deeply involved in all operations, even personally handling tasks like pallet wrapping for transport. Despite leaving the rodeo arena behind, Casey remains immersed in a dynamic and fast-paced lifestyle, albeit in a different context. Reflecting on his new chapter, Casey acknowledges the shift from earning money in eight-second bursts to building businesses. His journey underscores the unpredictability of life and the importance of staying open to unexpected opportunities. Casey's ventures extend beyond CBD and logistics. He's also expanding into products for horses and dogs, connecting back to his roots with the Western world. These ventures exemplify the rewards of embracing change and seizing opportunities as they arise. Entering the 2024 winter rodeo season, Field embraced his retirement decision without any regrets. After attending the National Finals Rodeo as a mere spectator in December, he discovered a surprising lack of desire to mount a bucking horse again. Instead of seeking thrills in the arena, Field satisfies his need for adrenaline by riding snowmobiles or dirt bikes whenever he can. Juggling various business ventures alongside parenting three young children keeps Field constantly engaged and on the move. Retirement hasn't slowed him down. Rather, he's relishing this new chapter in life. Field reflects on the freedom retirement has brought him. For years, he longed to pursue activities that were impossible due to the unpredictable nature of the rodeo circuit. The constant travel and uncertain schedule prevented him from making long-term plans. Now, with retirement, Field revels in the ability to chart his own course free from the constraints of a demanding rodeo schedule. Retirement has lifted a weight off Fields' shoulders. He feels liberated from the all-consuming demands of professional rodeo. The stress of not knowing where he would be next week or next month has dissipated. With his mind no longer preoccupied by competition schedules, Field can fully immerse himself in new experiences and opportunities. While Field is done with competitive riding, he remains deeply connected to the rodeo community. Attending events as a spectator allows him to stay involved and support his friends and colleagues. Though he's no longer in the arena, Field's passion for the sport remains unwavering. With more time on his hands, Field embraces his role as a mentor to aspiring young rodeo athletes. He enjoys sharing his wisdom and experiences with the next generation, inspiring them to pursue their dreams with dedication and perseverance. As the summer season approaches, Field continues to explore new hobbies and interests. Each day brings fresh excitement and possibilities. Retirement has opened up a world of opportunities for Field, and he is eager to make the most of it. Looking ahead, Field is excited about what the future holds. He plans to invest more time in his businesses and spend quality moments with his growing family. Retirement is not an end, but a new beginning, filled with promise and adventure for him. To join Field on his new adventures, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on future updates and inspiring stories.